Good morning, everybody. Just like to bring you up a date on what's going on around the local. All the Pell courses are now completed for the spring 2022 session. It, I have received a lot of positive feedback from members who have attended. If your course was canceled either by yourself or by Port Elgin, please think about applying again in the fall 2022 sessions are made available. Uh, check the Unifor Local Aid website for Pell courses availability. The information will be posted once the local receives it. Um, the 2022 Family Education Program taking place in July and August has been finalized and all members who submitted applications should have received or heard from Port Elk. Congratulations to all who were selected to attend this year. On the COVID-19 up front, with all the changes recently uh, by both the provincial and federal government over the last few months, the local union hall and office will suspend all COVID-19 safety protocols at this time. In the event of public health and or the provincial government reinstates guidelines, Unifor Local Aid will abide by them to protect our members and the general public. Face masks are still available if someone wants to use them when they enter the hall. Uh, Southwest Public Health will be holding COVID-19 vaccine clinics here at the hall every Tuesday for the next five to six months from 9.30 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. In closing, on behalf of Unifor Local 88, I would like to wish everyone a safe and happy summer. We look forward to when our members are all back to work building a new Bright Drop product. Thank you and have a good summer. Hello and welcome to our June video. I'll start with the retooling. Uh, the major tear out should be done today and the installation of the new equipment has begun and the weld shop is actually starting to look like a new weld shop already. Um, overall, there have been some issues, but GM believes that long term um, we will be able to remain on our schedule. Uh, the second topic will be job selections and postings. As of this morning, we have finished the job selection process. We appreciate everyone's cooperation. It was like organized chaos for about an hour and a half every day over the last six weeks. But as of this morning, we are now officially done and everybody has been uh, put into a home. Every job was filled except for approximately 14 team leader jobs. Those jobs will be posted later in July. Anyone who is in the team leader pool is eligible to post to those openings. And we had talks with GM and they have agreed to provide team leader testing next week at our hall on Tuesday and Wednesday. So it's June 28th and 29th at the Union Hall from 9 to 12. So if you want a chance as a team leader job and have not uh, been in the pool, you can do the testing next week to get yourself into the pool and then you'll be able to, eligible to post in July. We will have additional openings created by these team leader postings. Once the 14 people leave, we'll have 14 more openings. We will also have some more openings coming up over the next few months as more people to decide to retire or leave the company. We are working on a plan right now with ER to post all these openings that everyone will be eligible to uh, post to at some point early in 2023. The plan right now is for team leaders to come back to the plant in the fall and production hopefully will, uh, will come back in early December. That will allow us time to see who's not gonna come back, identify where all the openings are, and then at some point early January or February in 2023, we can then post all the openings that everybody can post for, and we'll be able to get our plant filled and all the holes filled up. Uh, the next topic is gonna be benefits. I'm going to read this. This has been provided by our benefit reps. I'm going to read it, and then it's going to be posted at the end of the video. This is extremely important for the junior members, but I'm just going to read exactly what they wrote. If you had six years of seniority at the start of our layoffs, you will be IMP eligible. Once you run out of sub, you can start IMP payments. This includes while you are collecting EI benefits. IMP benefits will top you up to 60% of your pay, which can be two to $300 a week difference. The process is more complicated than sub and it will take longer to collect your payments. So please contact one of the benefit reps who will guide you through the steps to collect the imp benefits. And again, this is for people who had six years of seniority at the start of the layoff. Also remember, during the whole time of the layoffs, there will be at least one or two benefit reps at the Union Hall uh, on day shift at all times. So if you have any questions or driving by or need to see a benefit rep, just come to the Union Hall, they will be here. The next topic will be vacation. Anyone wanting to take any vacation from July 1st to December 1st uh, can book it through Kevin Harvey. 
and we will have all his information posted at the end of this, but every week is available for everyone. So if you want any time off, and we are suggesting if you're leaving the province, because um, everyone's supposed to be looking for work, make sure you uh, book vacation for that week through Kevin Harvey, and his info will be posted at the end of the video. Uh, the last main topic will be the COVID vaccination policy. Chrysler went to arbitration on their COVID vaccination policy, and the final award came out on Friday, June 17th. The arbitrator ruled that Chrysler were correct in mandating the vaccination policy. However, he also ruled that over time, uh, enough time has gone by and has ordered the company to return the members who are not yet vaccinated back to work. Um, the arbitrator also ruled that there is no back pay for any of the time that the members were not allowed in the plant. And he also ruled that the company can implement additional vaccination requirements in the future, depending on the needs. Um, GM informed us just this past week that they are dropping the need to be vaccinated starting next Monday, June 27th. We have 12 members who are currently not allowed in the plant due to being non-compliant with the vaccination policy. We have been trying to contact all 12 and I just want to let those 12 know we are hosting a meeting at the Union Hall Monday morning at 9 a.m. We are going to review your options at that time as our plant is currently on a long-term layoff. We did include those 12 members in the job selection process, so they are included in the Bright Drop work charts already. In closing, um, we will be posting on our website when the team leader jobs will be posted. We'll try and give everybody a couple weeks notice, but right now we're aiming to post those up in late July and they will stay up for at least a week. Um, and in closing, on behalf of the implant, we'd like to wish everyone a very safe and enjoyable summer. Thank you.